Hello all, welcome to today's Tech Corner with Assemble Systems. My name is Nate Coombs and I am one of the engineers here at Assemble. And today we are excited to share with you how we can easily link your projects in 3D model data to an Excel spreadsheet through our Assemble integration. We understand that your team has spent a lot of effort and time into perfecting your estimating templates in Excel over the years. In today's session, we want to show you how you can still use your existing templates with Assemble's integration to avoid manual entry errors. This dynamic connection between the system will help you save precious time. Let's get started. So just to give everyone an idea of, of what we're looking at and what we're going to be doing today, what you see in front of you is our, is our user interface here at Assemble. I'm going to be working in this uh, sample project today called Francis Hall. And what I'm going to be doing is actually mapping out doors by type mark into Excel using our integration. And then I'm going to also create a report on those doors. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually update Assemble using our integration. So we have the full data set here, which is not what we really need for our uh, demonstration today. So I'm going to start by just going through here and isolating out just the doors. So I'll come into my model tree and under the visibility settings, I will show only category names of doors. So I'll update that and you get that we only have our doors visible now. So if I can just collapse that model tree. The second thing I'm going to do is come in here and regroup this based on the doors type marks. So by reorganizing it this way, you see now that all of our doors are broken down by their specified type mark. And that's all we have visible within the 3D viewer as well. So now that our data set is, is exactly what we need here in Assemble, we can hop into Excel. So what I see have here is an existing template. This is actually one of uh, our employee's old templates from when he used to be an estimator. So a good, good example for, for today's demonstration. So what we're going to do is use this integration to actually map and calc quantities directly into this spreadsheet. So this integration can be um, downloaded from us at Assemble. Feel free to reach out to um, sales at Assemble Systems if you're interested in checking this out. But once you download this, you'll have a tab in, in, in Excel called Assemble. And under that, you'll have all these different tools, all of which we will uh, cover today. So no matter what your step, first step is, you always want to come up to the top to an empty cell and locate a connection, which will say Assemble Connection, and then you want to configure that connection. So configuring a connection is as easy as putting in your URL, your username and password, and selecting the project, the model, and the version that you want to use. You can also work out by views if you'd like, but today we're going to use model. So now that that's all linked up, you can see that I already have this pretty set up for today's demonstration. So we, what we can do is come in here and actually map the cells that we want to pull values from. from. So by using this mapping functionality, what we can do is basically tell the system, we want to pull this quantity from this property. And then we pick a specific value under that property to tell the system to go grab. So like we said, so for doors, we probably just want our counts. So I'll come in here and I'll say the quantity property I'm looking for is going to be count using the filter property of, I'll just use the T to come down to the T's, type mark. And you see this filter values is com now completely populated with all the av available type marks that are associated with the objects in assemble currently. So as you see, we want type mark A for this first cell. So I can come in here, I select A, I add that mapping over, and I save it. You can see that we have a, in the top right, there's a little triangle that basically says this cell has now been mapped. And you see that in the comment, it tells you exactly what you've mapped this cell to. You also may have noticed that I have a few other cells here that I've mapped out already. So you notice for B, if I come up to the mapping, we already have type mark B here. For H, we have the same breakdown. Oh, I clicked the wrong cell, but you see we have type mark H available here as well. So the really powerful part of this is now that we went through and mapped a few of these cells. All we have to do is select these cells and calc these quantities. So while this is pulling the values for us, the one thing I want to point out about this is the idea that if you are setting up these templates in a way and using filter properties that are similar across all of your projects, Every time you get a new project, you're not going to have to go through and remap every one of these cells. You're only going to have to come up here, reconfigure your connection to a different project, 
And as long as you're using a uniform property across those projects, like type mark might be, you can just reselect and recalc quantities without having to go through and map values every single time. So this is obviously pretty powerful and, and saves you a lot of time as you go forward and use this on more projects. But you see, we do have some values in here now. And since this is a preset template, you see that we have calculated total values from this. But what I want to do is quickly come in here and actually verify these values with what we have available within an assemble. So by bringing these into both the same view, you see that for this first set, type mark A, we have 25 doors. You see up in assemble, that same value persists. Same for B with 16, H with 2, and D with 20. So that all looks really, really great. So just spending one quick sec back in assemble while I get everything set up. So now that I've gone through and shown you how you can actually map and count quantities, I want to talk about some of the other functionalities, including our reporting feature and the way we can actually update assemble. So what I'm going to do right now is actually come in here and just regroup this based on zone area. So you're going to notice that when I do this regrouping, that everything is going to be not assigned here. So nothing here has a zone area assigned. And zone area is actually one of our assemble properties. So for today, this is the field that I'm going to use to update from Excel right back here into assemble. So now that we know that what we're looking for, I can very easily come in here and save this as a new view. Doors by zone area. And we can now go back and do Excel and, and, and do the rest of our, of our work here. So I just open it up, and I'm just going to jump into the second sheet here. And I actually don't need to re relocate and configure your connection, because when you're in the same sheet, even if you're in a different um, file down here, you can very easily use the same connection. So now we're going to use a set of tools up here at the top. So the first step is the idea that we need to set a report header. So basically just say, what is the header of our report? which cells are the, the topmost cells. So we come in here and we can say that we want to grab the category names. We want to get a quantity. Maybe we want a level. Maybe we once again want those type marks. And then like I said, we're going to bring zone area and we're going to update that. So this is our report header. So now I can set that report header. And now I need to come in and start configuring my column mappings. So I very easily come in here and for my, my first column is the only one that takes a little bit of extra work because we need to make sure that this is going to be our key column that everything else works off of. And when you're using this connection, you always have to select an assemble connection before you come in and map any of these columns. That is always the first step. But for this one, we want to grab our category names. Maybe we want to separate that with a dash and also pull our family names. Separate that with a dash and maybe we want to pull our type names as well. So I grab my type names, I apply that mapping, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to say filter type starts with door, because we only want to pull the doors. So now I will apply and save that mapping. And you see in the top right there's also a little icon that notes that this has been mapped. So the other cells are pretty pretty simple. We, these, the rest of these are going to be data columns. So we just select assemble connection. And then for this one, we want our quantity. We can apply and save that mapping. You figure this one, assemble connection. We want level, apply and save. And we also want our type mark, assemble connection. And then the last one, this is the only particular one other than the key column. So for this one, when we come up to configure column mapping, we still use our assemble connection. But this time, rather than coming down here to the data mapping, we're going to go to update property because we want to actually add information to this column. So I come in here and I select my zone area, and I can apply and save that mapping as well. So now that everything is mapped, all I have to do is come in here and run a report. So it just takes a second, but you see now that we have all the different doors broken down in a report here. We have all of their type marks, all of their quantities, all of their levels. Very quickly now creating a report on all this different information. 
So what we can do from here is now update this, this field. Remember, as you, if you remember, none of this, these doors had zone areas defined when I went into assemble before. So what I can do is come in here, say I want to add a couple of different pieces of information here. So I'll say maybe this is part of zone one. I can now copy this, and maybe I want to paste it to a few cells down below. We'll say for this, we'll just say these are part of zone two. Same process, I want to copy and paste these. Just do the same process, zone three. Paste them there, and then we'll just do this one more time, zone four. So now, all of these fields are filled out with different zones. So now all I have to do is come back up to here and use this last field that we haven't talked about yet, which is update assemble. So coming in here, selecting update assemble, it's going to take just a moment, and you see that we have a little hourglass, which is just one away, which tells me that this information has all been updated and assembled. So by using this field, what we've done is taken all of these different doors and defined a zone area with an Excel and then used this, this tool to push this information back up to assemble. So just quickly jumping back into assemble here, you'll notice that everything's still unassigned because I haven't gone through and refreshed this, but I come back in and refresh this page. And what you're gonna notice now are all of our zone areas. So you saw before we didn't have any, everything was undefined. But now I have zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four, all of which was information that has been updated directly from Microsoft Excel. So that is a very quick look at our integration with Excel. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. As you saw in our presentation, the seamless integration between Assemble and Excel is a powerful addition to the Assemble product family that helps you bridge the gap between BIM and Microsoft Excel. Obviously, this is a very, very widely used tool across the industry, so we're definitely really happy to be able to bring a tool to the table that helps people get this information into those already used sheets. So if you have any questions at all about our integration with Excel or any of the Assemble products, please feel free to email us again at support at assemblesystems.com, and I hope to see you in another tech corner. Thanks so much.